Thank you, Devin. Have you ever felt dizzy after standing up too quickly? This could be a sign of orthostatic hypotension. And here to tell us more about this type of hypotension is Nurse Christina Paris. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hi, good morning. Glad to be here. So, how is orthostatic hypotension different from some other forms of blood pressure changes? So, we, you know, hypertension, when we talk about that, that's mm -hmm. higher blood pressure. So your, your numbers are going to be elevated. So with hypotension, you're mm -hmm. not getting enough. Maybe there's not enough blood volume or maybe your heart just isn't beating correctly. So when we stand, and, and so we think of orthostatic, that means, or postural, it's called. So mm -hmm. that's referring to the fact that we're changing position. So when we stand, gravity pulls. And, um, and that causes um, our blood vessels to narrow, which increases our heart rate, which then um, it increases the blood pressure. It tells your body to move. So um, I have some cute little visuals oh just to boy, get an here idea we go. of what goes on. So when we're, and, and it's, again, this is positional changes. So when we're laying down, you know, our blood is, is able to kind of circulate and move pretty freely. But when we stand, gravity pulls, it triggers those, uh, those receptors to send messages to your brain to do all those things. And then, of course, it's easier to get blood to your, to your brain. Now, if you are, say, dehydrated, then look, you're, it's gonna be harder. The blood's gonna pool, it's gonna have a more difficult time getting to the right. brain. So you're gonna have to work a lot harder to get the blood from down here pumping up to your exactly. brain. Exactly, so, and, and even in, in a good situation when when you have enough blood volume, um, different things can occur that can make it more challenging to get that blood to your brain. And your other cells, like your muscles and stuff, will kind of steal the blood as it's, as it's moving. I mean, if you sort of think yeah. of it that way. And so what's going to happen if we don't have a lot of blood to our brain? We're going to get dizzy. That just, that seems to make sense. So what are some of the symptoms to look out for, including the dizziness, right, I, I imagine? Right, absolutely. So there are, yep, dizzy is, is kind of the biggest thing we'll hear patients say. You know, I got up, I started walking, and I felt really dizzy. Um, and you're also going to have maybe uh, blurred vision. You might just feel really weak. I mean, just think mm. if you don't have enough blood supply to get those muscles going. And um, you might have an actual temporary loss of consciousness, what we call syncope or fainting, wow. you'll, you'll just flat out pass out. You could just get nauseous um, or have difficulty concentrating. So anytime there's just not enough blood supply to the brain. Goodness yeah. gracious, that's a lot to look out for. But So what are some of the risk factors and treatments for the postular hypotension? Okay. So um, some, of the, some of the risk factors can be older age, mm -hmm. certain disease processes, medications. Um, a mm -hmm. lot of people on blood pressure medications, that can cause this to happen. If you're on a diuretic, um, some antidepressants, things like that, have uh, the chemicals that can kind of mess with um, your body's chemical reactions to trigger up to the brain. Pregnancy, alcohol use, you know, Ooh. that dulls our senses. It's going to dull that. Um, and in older people. So again, we're, we're talking about causes, which is what you're going to look for. It's dehydration, pro prolonged bed rest, um, people who have heart problems or thyroid conditions, diabetes or other diseases. Um, and, it, you know, again, the, in the intake of diuretics or if you're on vasodilators or or other types of drugs, you know, like digoxin um, and metoprolol. I can never say that one right. But that's one of the big <laughs> ones that we hear a lot of. Those are beta blockers, and those are really known to cause that. Wow, so there's a lot to look out for with this. Yeah. And a lot of causes, potentially. There are, yes, absolutely. So what would you recommend for folks at home, then? So really what you need to do is find out what's causing this. You mm -hmm. know, go and see your doctor. Is there something going on um, with your autonomic nervous system? So that's what, that's the nervous system that tells us to breathe. And Well, it does, yeah, it does it automatically. Um, it makes our heart our heartbeat, because we don't think of those things. No. Um, they just happen. So if there's a problem with that, that can cause, um, mm. so then we can treat those like MS, dis disorders like that can cause that. And then there's what they call non-autonomic disorders. And so that's the dehydration, the medications. Um, and it's just a matter of going on those, you know, having those discussions with your provider, looking at your medication list, looking at your disease processes, um, looking at your alcohol intake or what was happening at the time when you had that change and so what the what they'll do in the in the clinic is they'll have you lay down for five minutes they'll check your blood pressure that's kind of your baseline 
Then they'll have you sit up for a minute. They'll recheck your blood pressure. And then they'll oh. have you stand for a couple of minutes and recheck your blood pressure. And if they oh, can goodness. notice a change between 20, um, between 20, uh, I forget, it's MM, I forget what that stands for. Um, sorry. And then, or if it drops, so if it drops by 20 uh, or, it, or the diastolic, so that's the bottom number, drops by 10, then we know you have orthostatic hypotension. Oh, that's if you get up and you're dizzy and yet your blood pressures are normal, then we start looking at other things. Bye. Well, fantastic. Well, thanks for letting me know and everyone else at home know as well. You're welcome. Well, thanks for coming in. <laughs> All right. So coming up, we have what's trending, including 